I'm Karim Massar with Siemens PLM Software. Today, I'm going to present how to manage different versions of a SimCenter AIMSIM library within TeamCenter to allow for better traceability. Let's take a look at how it works. I have a library of super components for modeling a braking system, which has been built with an older version of SimCenter AIMSIM. I will save this library within TeamCenter. I access the path list, and you can see the path to this library in my user-defined libraries. I simply need to click on Save to be able to save it to TeamCenter. Now I enter my login and password for my TeamCenter server. From the Active Workspace view of TeamCenter, I can browse to save my library. By default, the option Checkout in TeamCenter is ticked. This means that I will lock this library because I am still working on it. Other users will still be able to download it, but they won't be able to make any modifications to it as long as it is checked out by me. I have saved the old version of my library, let's say version 16, as a revision A item within TeamCenter. Once the library has been saved in TeamCenter, you can see that the library is now TeamCenter Managed Libraries. There is a green check icon, meaning that my local version of the library is synchronized with the version in TeamCenter. We go back to the path list and click Get. Then we download the library. When you select an item within Team Center, you have a list of the revisions for this item. Here, for the time being, we have only one revision that we select. Since our goal is to create a new revision of the library, I click on Revise to create a new revision for my version 17. This new revision will automatically be revision B. Now let's create a new revision of this library, revision B, within Team Center. Then we will update this library using the Library Update Assistant to SimCenter AIMSIM 17, so that at the end we have two versions of the library, one in version 16, revision A, and another one in version 17, revision B. I click on Save, then I click on Checkout to download this new revision and work on it. I can see that the library has been downloaded to a folder defined as my local workspace in the settings. I add this path to my current path list. I can see my library of super components in my library tree. Now I will update this library to SimCenter AIMSIM 17 using the Library Update Assistant. I am asked if I want to do a backup. Here, I don't need it, since everything is already saved in TeamCenter. This is one of the advantages of using a data and model management tool. You don't need to locally store dozens of versions of your library, since everything is on the server. After the update to version 17, I simply need to push this change to the server. Clicking on Sync Status allows me to force a local comparison with the server. Then I can see that there are outgoing changes, which correspond to the update of my library to SimCenter AIMSIM 17. Now, I right-click on the library and select Check In. This will first save my changes on the TeamCenter server, then release the checkout status, so that other users know that I'm not working on it anymore. In the path list, I can see the green check symbol is indicating that my local version of the library is in sync with the TeamCenter server version. To conclude, we can see that the direct connection between SimCenter AIMSIM and TeamCenter simplifies the management of the SimCenter AIMSIM libraries within TeamCenter. The changes you make are also transparent for other TeamCenter users. This connection is also essential for maintaining traceability over the SimCenter AIMSIM models. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website.